kind of neat though. Look at this. Can you guess where we are? Maybe you didn't guess that we're on campus at Florida A&M University in Tallahassee. So today we participated in the bio, first BioBlitz at FAMU, uh, Florida A&M University. You are joining a global naturalist community. It's edging up to half a million observers. We basically split into three groups to go around and catalog as much life as we could possibly find oh, on campus. So this consisted of gardens, parking lot edges, to dense forests that kind of bordered the campus. And it was pretty amazing how much stuff we actually saw. What we did today was conduct a biological inventory of the FAMU campus using the iNaturalist app. I call it science in your pocket because it allows a person to take photographs that are observations of nature and use the GPS unit that's in a smartphone to provide the latitude and longitude information to know exactly what point on earth the observation occurred. Really what happened was we're looking at some very ordinary things with fresh eyes. This part of campus is filled with invasive plants and animals iNaturalist is a useful tool for mapping invasives. Once invasives get established, there's no eradicating them most of the time. So documenting that first occurrence, that first population, is so important to actually stopping the spread of invasive species. Students are learning so much about basic science by doing this. They're learning the difference between scientific names and popular names. They're learning to connect with nature. They're learning to use geospatial tools. So I'm just thrilled about the opportunities that I, iNaturalist opens up for students. iNaturalist is another tool that um, we can actually use to identify what's around us. It gives us a better perception of you know, our living space. There's this disconnect with people and nature. They think we're separate, but it's actually all around us. So a naturalist actually helps us view what's around us. Yeah, perfect as a science collection tool. You know, it's uh, you gather a ton of data from all over, from many people. You take multiple pictures. I think it's a great way, you know, collect data. So like, you know, in the past where you had to get, you know, some professionals look at something, now you can just get some pictures and other people could then identify. It's a, it's a great system. And it's a tool you can carry around campus or deep into the woods. In our next Eco Citizen Adventure, we're not that far away from where we were today. There's a lot going on just outside of Tallahassee in the Apalachicola National Forest. Funding for WFSU Eco Citizen was provided by Nature and the City of Tallahassee. Tune in to WFSU TV on April 29th, 30th, and May 1st for Nature American Spring Live at 8 p.m. 7 central.